Midlife, Midlife Spices. Spices. Hi guys, uh, on this episode we're going to talk about the friendship in our adulthood, which is very, very different than when we're mm-hmm. in uh, teenage years or when you're even younger. So uh, today we have Vivian and myself, Francisca. Hi. <laughs> we'll discuss about it. All right. Yeah. It can reflect to what you're experiencing at the moment. So the first thing I want yeah. to discuss about is, uh, mm-hmm. Vivian, can you tell me about whether or not mm. it's really harder to make and maintain friendship after a certain age? Um, yes, in fact, actually I do. So, um, you know, in, um, what I feel is that like the older I get, it's like, you know, friends just sort of get busy in their own life or something. And it, it's like my social circle gets smaller and smaller. It's not like these people disappear. I mean, they're still around and, you know, it's like, um, but, um, it's like the time, I get to spend with this uh, with my friends becomes lesser and lesser and the the you know um, and then I find myself only hanging out with the core friends that you know um, you know that I can count with my fingers mm-hmm. um, you know uh, like regularly right it's like um, what do you think how how do you find it though yourself basically when we're mm. younger uh, especially when we're in teenager and even younger I think that's the most genuine kind of friendship because all of us are there for the same Mm -hmm. and there's no position I mean there's no boss everybody are equal and we even wear uh, or the same uh, uniform so I guess we we are with each other because we like that person and we want to spend time with them while when we're uh, older and we're already in the workplace uh, in my perspective because I'm a professional um, uh, we're going to be facing people yeah different point of view right I mean uh, there's a lot of different dynamics. right when we're at work we have a little bit of politics here we cannot be too close with our boss because people will mm. think hey, you have an agenda why are you close to, to that person although sometimes <laughs> we, we just like to be with that person because you know we're the same type or we spend uh, you know we have the same hobby but we have to you know make sure it's that true. we're making the right move yeah and, and what about yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, it's true. Um, yeah, I, I think that it is completely different too. Um, I think the big difference is like when you're younger, the, uh, there's less ulterior motive. Like if, if you're in school, um, the first thing that, you know, this is like me speaking from my experience, right? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, in university, that is probably the last stage of my life when the kind of friendship I forge is like the same as when I was in high school in my childhood, right? Mm-hmm. Um, because like once... Um, once everybody graduate and like you know um, at that stage like most people are friends with each other right yeah. and um, you know the minute everybody um, you know because I went to medical school so like you know now everybody's interns and mm-hmm. like um, you know probably half of the students like went to their you know their own countries went back but like you know most of us stayed in stayed behind in Ireland and become medical interns and mm-hmm. guess what like we all get assigned to like the same hospitals and there's only like you know three of them (laughs) right that like takes all the students from Royal College of Surgeons so like um so you know we bump to each other we are each other's colleagues um yes we are like you know assigned to different teams but like you know um you see like the same faces Mm -hmm. and um like funny enough like the dynamic changes pretty quickly because the relationship is now no longer um competition free um, not as much as when you're a student. If you think that, you know, there are already a lot of competition as a student, like you're wrong. <laughs> like once you start yeah. working, it's completely on a different level because now there's an incentive to like suck up to the boss, like get like the next stage of like, you know, um, get that l- even little bit of advantage to get into the specialty that you want. And like, you know, um, and or because we were so um, at the same time, um, 
like really pressured in terms of like, you know, how much workload and how much sleep and free time you get, you know, because it was very demanding and people start to kind of like, you know, play dirty. So, you know, like some people get shafted a lot of work and like some other cunning ones like get away with <laughs> lesser work or something or like okay. also like the holiday battles, you know, <laughs> the holiday battles because like um, nobody can take the holiday at the same time that it gets really nasty. Um, for example, somebody will take a, um, like a study leave, um, but they actually go on a proper holiday and, you know, um, and and so then, you know, like next time they'll book an, uh, no, 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 it's actually the other way around. Like they can actually sabotage your holiday by saying, I am taking a study leave. So, um, you know, so you get prioritized. So, for example, yeah. I already booked my ticket and everything, but like some other colleagues say, but I'm taking a study leave because I have an exam coming up. But like, I know that person is like, you know, taking the study leave, you know, to actually go on a proper holiday, right? <laughs> so it's completely unfair. And I had like waste uh, 500, you know, euros worth of ticket at the time, which like really pissed me off. <laughs> so oh, like, um, yeah, so, so <laughs> yeah, so I think that, you know, politics, it's like, <laughs> that, that is the politics, that is the politics, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So, so, you know, um, it, in, in that regard, um, you know, like I think that as an adult, like when you experience a lot of it already, you kind of start questioning people, you know, you're not as trusting anymore like when you're young to say, okay, what does he or what does she want from me, right? You, know, you get a bit suspicious. <laughs> um, I, I, I don't know, like, do you, you ever have like something, you know, do you ever have something like that happening to you? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, a lot, uh, particularly when you go to a bigger yeah. corporation. Uh, of course, when you're yeah. in a smaller company, uh, it's not as bad as when you're in a bigger company. Um, but mm. then I think uh, we learn with life that, uh, you know, it's getting more and more complicated as we get older and as we get as you move up the ladder also. Uh, everything gets so complicated. So I wish that yeah. our, the, our childhood friendship uh, can return, you know, that type of friendship yeah. that we really miss. Yeah, 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 that's true. Like, yeah. do you find that, like, um, do, you, do you relate to your childhood friends or, like, teenagehood friends um, the same way that you do now, do you think? Or, like, uh, do you think that some people you just completely drift apart when you become adults? Uh I guess it depends on how frequent we meet, yeah, because the, the older we are, of course, mm. we're going through a different kind of situation, right? Some of you, some, some of us would probably True. go right away to marriage and then experience uh, up and downs of marriage, some <gasps> of, right? And some of us would actually uh, focus on their work mm. and go through the up and down at, at work and or, or any other things. So what we experience is going to be completely different one to the other. Well, when we're younger, it's all the mm. same. Like I mentioned earlier, we're all we're all there to study. We're all there to get the good grades. And our problem are just, if we get bad grades, that's our biggest problem, right? Some people are there. <laughs> some yeah. people are not, not there for the good grades. So some people are there for the good time. <laughs> but okay. Yeah. Some yeah. <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> well... I'm yeah. Your laugh is very suspicious, Vivian. I'm not sure if you're one of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, like now that you've mentioned about like marriage, I think that also plays a big, um, you know, dynamic changer in friendships, though. Mm -hmm. um, it's like, um, I think like, especially like, you know, when, when um, you know, I just turned like, you know, late 20s and then like some friends starts to get married um you know it's like i used to wonder like oh they, and then they just suddenly disappear from social circle and you never see them again right and you're mm -hmm. like but we were like such close friends and and you wonder why right um yeah. but it's kind of like something that i realized more and more um that like once you're in a married life it's like you know um you know you kind of um I don't know, but I can only speak for myself probably, right? It's like, uh, maybe like the reason is like, number one, um, you don't have as big a social need, like, um, because you have your spouse and, you know, your spouse is like, especially if it's like your best friend and, 
you know um you kind of don't feel the need to like seek out like friends anymore right as much um because you feel so fulfilled like socially and then like second reason is probably like because the the family wants to see you and there's a lot of like activities you're supposed to do together and that also kind of like pulls you away from like the other friends probably and the the third reason i think like with the marriage is uh, maybe um you know like sometimes the spouse might not get along you know that well or like have the same chemistry you do with your the rest of your friends and yes, it could be pretty awkward and boring for them like you know yes yes yeah big yes. yeah the, can you relate yeah. to that yeah, yeah <laughs> that's a big yes yeah. oh my yeah. god yeah. Because we're like yeah. uh, well uh, i know some people who actually become right. somebody else <laughs> that they're, they're you know <laughs> They used to be like this, and then suddenly they're, they're married to someone that's like, uh, you know, totally opposite of that, of her or him. And then he would, he or she would have to adjust to the spouse, of course. I mean, uh, in a lot of ways, there's a lot of sacrifice <laughs> that we have to put, right, in uh, any marriage. So sometimes it's for the good, sometimes for the bad, but you're very much, you're very right about that. Yeah. Marriage actually. Uh, yeah, and, yeah. 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 That's right. That's right. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and, and how often do you, do you meet those, uh, your friends now with, uh, mm. at, at this age, uh, you know, uh, 40 mm. years? Um. Yeah. How often do I meet them? It depends on the friends. I mean, there are some friends that I meet maybe like once every fortnight or once every month. Um, but there are friends that like I will see maybe once a year. Um, mm -hmm. It's... Um, it's like, yeah, I mean, it, it depends on where as well. So, for example, like when I used to live in Jakarta, um, it seems like, you know, um, it was like really, yeah, but, but it's different because I was single, right? Mm -hmm. So I will actually seek out like social groups and I also call friends a lot more frequently and say like, hey, guys, you want to hang out and stuff, right? Um, but like uh, once I'm in London, I suppose like, Yes, it's like marriage oh, again. Like it's the marriage that's causing it, probably. <laughs> so like, hey, let me um, go to the marriage. <laughs> yes. <laughs> let's let's blame it on the marriage, right? Yeah. It's like it's got nothing to do with me. I'm still social, right? It's <laughs> you know, so like, not our fault, okay? Um, <laughs> it's not my fault. It's it's all hubby's fault, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. You know, like the other day I was talking with my friend about that and she was saying, yeah, you know what, like in London, it is actually harder to maintain friendship because of the distance. And I said, it's actually like pretty true. I mean, you know, it's a, it's we live, we all live in the same city. I know quite a few people I'd like to spend a lot, like, you know, more time with, I wish. Um, mm -hmm. But like we are all in a different corners of London. So like, you know, um, it can be pretty quite a pain in the ass to like you know say uh, it takes one hour to get to one point so we can just have like a coffee for like one or two hours right like i mean you know it's like so um, unless you plan something big like let's have a barbecue at home um you <laughs> kind of um it's very easy to slip into that like not seeing them for an entire year you know yeah like how, how about you what's your experience uh, on that? i guess it's not too much different different than yours. I mean, uh, I did yeah. a, a funny example how um, my high school mm. friends, we have this WhatsApp group and it's okay. kind of, and we're going to be like, hey, you know what? It's, holiday is coming. Let's go to this place. And it's like three hours away from here. So the other person would be mm. like, hey, let's make it in Jakarta first. We haven't even met in Jakarta for the past <laughs> few months. What are you talking about? So that actually kind of right. reminds us that yeah, you're right. We've never even met in Jakarta, where everyone is, you know. <laughs> so maybe you do actually have to have like a big event as an excuse right it's kind of like it's massive it's gonna be great yeah. you have to come otherwise nobody's yeah. gonna turn up <laughs> yeah if it's reunion and stuff yeah, yeah people will show up but it's like a coffee or you yeah. know last minute thing usually they'll be like okay yeah. i'll do my best you know and then the other one would be like mm. oh sorry but my kid needs me i have to pick him up and you know blah 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 so yeah the, the yeah yeah yeah, we canceled by everyone. <laughs> so it was arranged by everyone and canceled by everyone. <laughs> it happens a lot, actually. Yeah, true. 
<laughs> do, do you actually miss um, the time when you get to spend more time with your friends? Do you wish it's any different now, you know? Uh, yes, I think so. I mean, if, uh, mm. if I, well, mm. if I'm very busy, uh, you know, sometimes we kind of forget about it, but during our, our downtime when we're like, uh, you know, we're not doing anything, we're, we're relaxing, we'll, we'll be like, how is this person doing? How is that person doing? It's been ages since we met that person, right? And then, uh, yeah, so I guess I would just say, hey, hi, how are you doing? And, you know, but the sometimes they'll be like, you haven't talked, you haven't WhatsApp me for four, for four months. What is going on? Do you need anything? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I do actually miss it too, you know, like um, even now, like sometimes, you know, I, I kind of like check on myself and say, um, you know, say to my husband, like, have we not seen any friends for like already, you know, like three months? This is crazy. Like we got to meet someone, you know, it's like, let's expand a little bit, right? Outside of the two people world. I mean, you know, it's like, yes, I, I love spending time with my husband, but let's, let's, um, you know, broaden our vision a little bit, right? Yeah. yeah <laughs> let's meet other human beings. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The world belongs to us. Yeah. Somebody else in that world sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. we do we do guys thank you for watching our video today we hope you enjoyed it and we look forward to seeing you on our second part of our video and don't, don't forget to like subscribe and comment on this video see you next time